I'll try to make this video as quick as possible. Some people invite me to go places and I talk about having mobility issues. And so let me just start with when I was not a, quite a teenager, I had a fall which broke, crushed the discs in my upper back. From there, my back now has scoliosis which has worsened over the years. And then in the mid 1970s, I was the passenger in a Corvette and the boyfriend was driving in Eastern Washington, decided to back up on the country roads because he was looking at property. And lo and behold, a big truck came around the corner and smashed. Um, didn't seek med medical attention for that because I came from the country. I didn't know about concussions and things, and we just didn't go to the doctor. So my throwing up, the headaches, the neck pains and all that, I didn't um, relate that to the fact that I'd been a passenger in a Corvette and hit so hard. Uh, then in 1990, my husband and I had just been married a few months, and I had a very pretty, I thought it was, <laughs> Uh, Mercury Topaz black my first black car and uh, one evening after dinner we decided to scoot out to Dairy Queen get a dessert and while we were sitting at a stoplight full stop a gal came up behind us and hit us so hard that her car bounced off the back of my car and the skid marks went backwards on the street anyhow that car did get repaired and um, so then the next two were in 1994, um, just about seven weeks before my son was born. This was the first part of November 1994, and I was driving along Casino Road in Everett, and there were sirens coming along, and I pulled off to the side of the road, and I'm sitting there, and a car came up, pulled off to the side and smacked right into my back end, doing some very major damage to the car. Um, anyhow, then it wasn't barely a week later, I was driving along Evergreen Way, and yet again, I was hit from the behind, <laughs> from the rear, but this time I was pushed into the car in front of me. So my Mercury Topaz was pretty squished, looked like an accordion then it really was totaled um and i was 250 plus pounds pregnant with my son at the time anyhow um we replaced that with i've had so many cars um that uh, my husband picked up some station wagon because <laughs> he said i needed a lot of metal around me um but, but then the next there's been little ones in between. Then the next was uh, December 2002, and we had a Mercury Van Villager, and we'd only had it for a few months, and uh, my kids were young, and they just adored it. And we had gone to several places, gone to see Santa. It had been a great day, and we were headed down Pearl Street to Point Defiance Sioux, to look at the lights there. And a car coming the opposite direction made a left-hand turn at the intersection right in front of me. And I was driving the Van Mercury Van Villager and um, demolished the whole driver's side. And um, so there was that, that car was a total and I got a Dodge Grand Caravan after that, and um, there was a few minor little accidents where people did hit me, but um, nothing severe, too severe. <laughs> and then towards the end of 2011, I had a 2000 Mazda Protégé, and it was a beautiful blue, and I loved that car, and it was sweet. I thought it was sweet. It felt good in it. And um, at the end of January 2012, 
I was sitting at a little stop at uh, Waller and 112th, and a truck came up behind me, hitting me, pushing me out into the intersection. And um, some nice gentlemen, young men, pushed my, got my car out of the intersection, so I wasn't hit further. And um, anyway, that car was a total. And um, so that's my story to date. Um, there's been other things that have happened in between. I've had some surgeries and things. So I appreciate people asking me to come to these evening events and different things. But as I've gotten older, my mobility has gotten um, less. I am trying to walk, get around, move as best I can. Um, I don't take any medications for any of this stuff. <laughs> I learned back in oh, the 2002 after the, the, Van the Mercury Van Villager was hit. The doctor prescribed some kind of a pain pill and something that was a muscle relaxant called Flexerol. And I found that the Flexerol turns a person into a noodle. So that, I was going to cuss there, that crap got tossed. Um, only thing I take is an Advil once in a while. It's a little bit hard on my kidneys because I've had kidney surgery. If you want to see that scar, i got a 12-inch scar there. And... Um, um, on my left side and I had some other surgeries so that's my story I appreciate you asking me I'll do the best I can I basically don't go out in the evening and now with the way things Washington what's happening here in Washington I wouldn't advise anybody to go out on the roads so if you listen to this thank you I appreciate it I appreciate all my friends and um Let's let's do what we can for Washington. I'm here. I've got my keyboard. It's cordless. See, I can walk around with it if I wanted to, and um, um, I can still type. And um, so, anyway, thank you. Have a happy Wednesday.